our pretty faces real quick mm. while you work your magic with your fingers. It's totally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reload that. I'm gonna reload that. Our stream's that. down as well. Our stream's down. Oh, brilliant. So we're back. So good. So good. So maybe that's what that was actually. Maybe our, our internet had a hiccup. But anyways, we're back in the game, guys. Let's see. France on the defense. Turkey on the attack. France one game away from going to BlizzCon. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Turkey, over to you. Time to shine. Now or never. All the sports analogies you can think of. As Alfred goes very deep, is it going to be enough? Can he get out? No, he gets himself the kill. Kitty goes down. Knox and crew come through with Mechalau, though. And it's a very even fight, but as Turkey looks like they're going to be coming out about worse off, though. But the problem is, it's a very long run from that spawn point. Mechalau around the side there. What are we showing this for? Thank you, camera guy, please. As we do finally get back in there, now we've got a green reticule for crew. Doesn't seem to have affected him because he's still playing pretty well here. The France are still holding. <laughs> Three true. minutes left now for Turkey. Singer looking for that Dragon Blade. This is the comp. Uh, it's, it's similar to the comp they used initially, actually, oh, on Hollywood. That was great. Uh, with Alfred on Winston because they're trying to get into the back line of France, which is still going to be really difficult. Nox, I think it's Nox going to be actually nano boosted yet again. Zinger trying to actually deal with these two supports in the back, but the problem is there's so much healing between the two, it's really hard for you to pull it off. And Nox already picked up a double. Double wobble. As Zinger gets me hungry, but it's making Turkey a real problem right now because they are just getting batted away from this one. We talked about whether France could hold it and looking like they may well do it because they've been fairly effortless so far. They did lose Alpha Cast there, but he's going to be getting back to point very quickly. You can see he's going to have his sound barrier available as well, along with Nox with the Earth Shatter. The only thing is, Hex is going to have himself his uh, nano boost, and you can see he may well go on to Rebellious because he's got Earth Shatter ready and waiting to go. He just has to be careful though. If he gets charged, oh, which actually might be because he's in the corner here, the post won't even be thrown in, and Nox is doing some work with the help of sound. Nice. The Earth Shatter comes through to lock down this one Turkey. There's too many men. However, France have lost both supports. Brilliant Earth Shatter there. They do lose both supports, but it doesn't matter. That is going to be a clean A set for France, or Team Kill, which if you prefer to call it, I know it confuses a lot of people there. They got very close to hitting the first marker there. Did they lock it in? Yeah. I think they did, yes. Yeah, but one marker's not going to win you a game. No. And if it took them this long already to just get that far, there's a lot more problems at work here. Crew, he's going to have Graviton Surge yet again here. And you can see Nox as well trying to lead the charge. Or at 60% of his ultimate, because he just keeps hitting these fire strikes. Turkey needs to dodge these a little bit more, and Zinger has to make some sort of play happen with this Dragon Blade. Well, this time the shield is getting worked down. Graviton Surge ready and waiting. Groove's gone oh straight my. for it. He's pulled the trigger and it's worked so beautifully. France are just absolutely destroying Turkey at the statue. So well played by Crew there. You could see he was looking for the little angle. And the second that shield dropped down, he made it work. Sirik going to try and get away from this one. Mikkel out. Got to be careful he doesn't get picked off there. And of course, getting picked off early doesn't help you. But now with a minute on the clock, Jason, this is looking very good for France. And they have an Anna Booster Shutter combo yet again. Even Miklo with the whole hog, which they could use. Zinger off to the side. He's trying to actually go for a potential flank here, which is still going to be difficult. But there's no Graviton Surge to stop him. So he has the ability to get towards the back line. There's no support with to help out either. And he's looking for kills. He's already gotten Kitty. He's got Kitty down. He's going to try and deflect on there. <laughs> Manages to keep away the whole hog. Is it going to be enough? He's here. Hop, skips and jumps. Gets the kill on Mikulau. And suddenly he's working very good for Turkey. They get themselves one, two. Can they get Crew down? Crew gets himself the one on the support. Mercy there. He gets picked off the side. Crew will finally get down with no. He's still alive. 41 hit points is all that remains for Zinger. But now the rest of the team come around. At last they get Crew down. Alpha Cast will fall. And with just 25 seconds remaining on the clock, they will cap out the point. But by God, France held strong there. That's bought them a real good time as the payload gets underway. Yeah, that was still really really close though and, and actually created something really cool he jumped on top of the telephone pole a telephone box whatever you want to call it these days um and actually used his his rocket or his rocket jump his right click jump to get up towards the high ground to kill hex on the mercy so he wouldn't have a chance for a res but france are still fighting on all fronts they're trying to continue to keep this payload back without letting it push well they've got 220 i mean they buy themselves some good time here. Go aggressive. This is working well. Nox got that Earth Shatter ready and waiting. He maybe going to took himself around the corner, try and catch them by surprise. A little pop out Earth Shatter. Hex does, of course, have that res available. And Rebellious going to push on through. The sticky bomb comes through. There's an Earth Shatter. Cracking one, but Nox will go down. Graviton Surge will follow through. They catch him through. Kitty even picks himself up a kill. Crew hops in the corner. I don't know where he was going, but it doesn't matter because Deegan comes through on the Genji and gets himself a double. And you can see they focused Hex immediately. 
With the ground to surge, Crew wanted to focus him down with no chance to res. They didn't have a chance for a refight off the backlist. And now France can concede some ground to allow the entire team to group back up again and maybe build up some more ultimates. This is getting dangerous. Turkey, a minute 35 left to go on the clock. And they don't really have any ultimates ready to go. Like, at all. They, they switched Alfred over from Winston to Roadhog. <clears throat> and he's only at 4%. Rebellious used Earthshine in the last fight. And Sark is only about at 50%. Zinga switched over as well. Rebellious in trouble. He's gone a bit too deep. He gets picked off. And this is not looking good for Turkey. 1 minute 20 is all that remains on the croc. Siri gets around the side. Mikhail getting taken down. That's a good start for them. As they go and deal with Crew though. Crew getting in amongst them. Siri getting in, still trying to cause some problems. Trying to get the flank around. Crew will get dropped down. That's good. Rebellious comes through. But that was Hex having to use the rest to try and work it through. Nox gets himself the kill. Deegan goes off with the Dragon Blade. Can he get a slice? No, he can't. But he goes looking for Hex. He gets pulled in beautifully there. Deegan gets back on the kill on Siri. And they continue the craziness in the streets. Yeah, but Hex had res and actually used it again. Deegan was so close to finishing them off. And look at that man sleeping on the job. Alfred, get up. Your team needs you here, man. Zinger takes down Deegan. That's going to be him now down. And they needed that Genji. And France are slowly being pushed to the side. Turkey are gaining momentum. 40 seconds left. And France should ideally have one more attack here on this payload. Though Zinger with Death, Blossom, Death Blossom available. I don't really know if France is going to have a successful take. Unless they somehow interrupt this. Crew with Graviton is going to be huge. Zinger's trying to get the flank. He wants to drop down as soon as they go aggressive here, and it could well work. They haven't really tracked him going up around the side. He drops down. The Earth Chatter comes in. Doesn't find an op opportunity, but it doesn't matter because look at Rebellious. Gets himself a triple in there, and suddenly France wither away, and Turkey hit themselves the final payload marker. 140 on the clock and counted. It's not a great time, but it's still a time. And Zinger, if he actually catches a really good Death Blossom here, they could get a lot of distance on the payload. They can't actually complete off this because ideally France should be contesting it right around this corner where you're seeing Reinhardt played by Rebellious set up. And Hex is going to have rest too. Look at the Zinger. He's in the prime position. Deacon's already dead. He's going to come straight down. The hook misses. So that gives a clean opportunity for him to ult. But he, he kind of fluffs his lines a little bit. But there he goes right about him back around the corner. And France lose the entire team. That was uh, pretty tragic for French fans to watch. That was a very quick, clean execution from Turkey. And now... You can see Zinger, he wants to keep them in their spawn point. They're going to be going the other side, though, so sadly he's not going to get any action this side. They're all off to the right. Mikolau comes through. There's going to be the Graviton Surge. Pulls them all on the point. Is there any damage to follow through? That's the question. Alfred taken very low. Nox does finally get himself the kill along with Crew. You can see Crew not quite fully charged. Long way to go on this one, but it looks like France may well have done enough to hold them off. There's the big res from Hez. Gets four people back alive on that one, but Deegan instantly puts them back down on their butts. And look on the Mikolau on the May is just trying to stop for time as well as Diga trying to go in but gets taken down by Cyric and now Mikolo is pretty much by himself here on the point. Alphacast is going to be off to the side. Mikolo is just again with the back of his team able to hold off. Hold strong and Zinger will fall and now 20 seconds left. Yes, yeah, someone has to stay in the payload here. If Turkey do backdoor this which we did see in the groups. Oh no Nox! I got knocked off. But it's okay, it's he okay. He's going to get, get back in time. I think he got booted, booped off there on the side. But still, nine seconds. They've got to try and touch it. Alfred is going to be the man. And he is a big market to try and keep alive. You can see he's getting forced back here. He's got to do a lot while the rest of his team try and get on point. He's now contesting it. We're down into overtime. The rest of Turkey come finally through. Rebellious, great catch. But Nox comes back out with the Earth Shatter. He gets the pin. He's left the marker. He's not contesting it anymore. Get back to your point, man. Tries to force away from this one. It's Turkey that's looking good. Alpha Cast is trying to hold. Skip and jump, keep himself alive around the side there. Crew, Tracer splitting around. He gets taken down. Turkey lot to have done it. And they will post themselves a time in the end. There's zero left on the time bank. And Turkey will complete King's Row. It didn't look like it was going to be possible for a moment there. France will certainly have themselves a heck of a time to chase down. So, whew, okay, Turkey... Zero, a big fat zero, all that's left for them. Now France, all they've got to do is complete it with one second left. It is GG, they will be going to BlizzCon. Now, they held for a very long time on that initial point. France are going to be feeling they could do better than that. We're already seeing Deegan selecting the uh, Hanzo once again. And I'm wondering, remember the shots he landed on Hollywood. I wonder if he's going to try and repeat that performance. I think he could. I 100% think he could in this one. Um, what does Turkey have? So, Sark and Zinger, last time they played Tracer and Reaper up against D Guns Hanzo, it didn't end well for them. At least on Hollywood. I don't know. I don't really see much to get in D Guns' face. Like, if Alfred and Cyric do jump onto him and Kitty, then you have a good chance of eliminating this too and having a decent fight overall. But I don't think Turkey's been necessarily fighting that way. They haven't really been diving the backline of France. 
Uh, and not to mention with the Sonic Arrow of Degon, he should ideally have a, a safe position for the most part. And he also has a good amount of peel with Alpha Cast and Miklo and even Kitty thrown in there. So I don't know. It'll be it'll be tough, I think, for Turkey to hold this first point. But if they want to continue their chance, they qualify. They have to do it here, and they're just going back to what they know with the heroes. So France, all they need to do is complete the map inside of regular time, and it's GG. That's all they need now. GG. Well, no, not technically cr true because Turkey completed in overtime. <laughs> so technically they will have a time. Yeah, so not technically true. But either way, France have got a very good position. That's what I'm trying to get to. They've got a very good chance at completing. And we'll see. So far, they have been the better team on payload maps. And here on a hybrid map, they've got to try and cap out quick and early. Turkey took a long time. So the thing is with Turkey, the Turkey got a lot of kills, but it just wasn't quite working for them. It wasn't quite the right targets they were after. Alfred jumped in deep last time around and got himself the early kills, but you can see France already going in. They've already maybe got the first marker. They have! They've been given the first marker already. Now it's a one-for-one -one trade. Knox going down, though. That's a big kill, but Mikolaus managed to get himself a kill on the uh, the Roadhog around the side. Now they have to deal with Siric, but look at the marker. They've got it! The payload already! They're not even fighting on the payload here. Turkey have made a major mistake here, and Siric is the last man alive just trying to escape for this one. He gets hooked back in by Mikolo, and D-Gun will solidify the kill. They've let they, they, major mistakes. Like they, they didn't even contend on the point. They actually backed up because they were afraid of France, and letting them get the first initial point on a capture without even fighting them, it's not acceptable. And now no. Turkey has a lot of extra work put on them. They, they made this job they, even tougher for them to hold on. It was so bizarre. They tried to do the the archway defense, and then you let them take it, and then you push on. But then they, they, there was nothing to push on because they lost the front line. And Rebellious goes down again here. France being very aggressive. We saw this on Hollywood actually. Obviously, a similar type of defense that a lot of teams will use. You know, you go up, you try and catch them in the spawns, and you try and gain as much ground as you can. And it's worked out well for France. Now they're going to back away. They have to respect the fact they did just lose someone. Didn't manage to land the hook. Another hook goes flying past from Alfred. And now France will regroup. <gasps> it's going to be the Graviton Strike. We got the Graviton Surge and the Dragon Strike available for D-Gun. This is, this is where you can get a full team wipe. Ages. It's been forever, but here, you're going to see it right now. There we go. There's the Graviton Strike. We'll see the shield across, but it doesn't matter. Mikolau gets himself. Well, you know what? Let's just pair it with a, ro a whole hog as well. So the Graviton Strike hog. <laughs> the whole Graviton Strike. The whole Graviton Strike. That's there beautiful. We there we go. It literally was. So France continue to push on through. Very good time posted on Gibraltar. They had 4.10 remaining in the time bank, remember. Turkey wasn't able to finish it. They have closed out King's Row, so they're going to get themselves a little chance, but it's very much a sliver of hope. The nano boost goes on to Knox. They push on through. There's the second marker about to be reached. You can see it's just off the side. The rest of the team did push on through, so Knox kind of out of position there. Well, the rest of the team got tucked down, and it looks like Turkey might just be done enough to slow them down unless Crew can pull something off as he uses the butt of his gun to take down Siric and Mikolau, the last man standing. France will get held. All right, so there we go. Turkey finally able to put up a defense, but they still have a lot more time to go. In general, the switch to from Zinger over to the Fair was relatively good. It's really hard as a Hanzo to hit a Fair in the air, even with the changes to the projectile speed. So Diga's now responded with a McCree of his own, respecting that Zinger's playing really well on Fair. And Turkey's going to have the whole hog. So they have the ability to push them away. And Hex has a chance for a revive. I don't know. It's gonna be. It's really tough this position in general as Turkey to hold this point just because there's so many angles you can be attacked from. And well, not to mention if Deegan picks up an early kill, it makes it even harder. Oh, Mikkel out doesn't manage to land the hook. Deegan though, getting that double, don't you say, will certainly help you on your way. That's gonna be a good hook, but as is the rule, he who hooks first loses out in the hog fight. Mikkel out and Crow push on through. Oh, Siric, that was not good. I know he was trying to go down with the rest of his team, but you don't want to be given the charge. Although, uh, technically, he already had full charge, so it's not too bad, I guess, in the end of the day. But uh, just using the one-man alpha cast, he's the cart pusher. Keeps that payload working its way around while the rest of his team set up. Now, they have four minutes to do the final stretch. Plenty of time. Not to mention Nana Boost here in a second for Kitty. Got so many people to heal, but with that uh, barrage actually being used and completely eliminated by Diga, and this is not looking good for Turkey. The charge doesn't seem to have landed, but Nox is more than happy to just continue to swing away. 55% on his ultimate already again. 
And there's the res coming out of Hex because Turkey, they have to hold here. They cannot let this point go. They need to, to drain at least three minutes of time away from France. Absolutely. Nox tries to get the charge, but doesn't really catch a great deal. His counter charge comes through. The Earth Shatter comes out from Rebellious. He gets Mikalau, but he doesn't manage to get the kill. The rest of his team will follow through, though. Zynga gets Kitty down, and now they try and push around. Crew now still has Graviton Surge, but he doesn't want to use it right now as Deegan and Mikalau get picked off around the side. They just want to stop the rot at the moment. And if they can pick Syric off while he goes a little too deep here, it may well work for Ooh. them. Zynga also going very aggressive. He got burned down a little bit there from Crew. Crew's energy is just insane. Like, yeah. He's had high energy, I think, this entire series, oh, let alone this game. Hit. Yeah, that's not good. You lose your trace. So I mean, back in time, we'll be back relatively quickly, so you have a second chance. But this does force Turkey to concede a lot of this ground. And that ground is not even going to let him. He's going to get around the oh, side. Oh, he just burns him down. Gets it around there. There's going to be Hex. He got the res off just in time. He was down to nothing, but it worked out in his favor. Deegan still picks himself up the double now, and Crew pushes on through. Nox has got himself his Earth Shatter ready and waiting. That Pulse Bomb is not going to land on anything. It gets shielded off. Doesn't matter. Turkey is going to get one respawn. You can see Rebellion is already making the switch over to Diva. Zinger's already switching over to May. They want to do everything. Throw the kitchen sink at them to stop them getting on the point. Nox throws down the Earth Shatter, but catches a great big fat zero with it and Zinger gets around the side. Deegan is doing some serious, serious work and the whole hog from Mikalau is not really catching a great deal. May gets boots off the edge from Mikalau. Yeah, not to mention this payload is still moving and then Turkey just don't have enough of men live to even defend this point. Two minutes left to go. It's still being contested for now, but it doesn't matter. The whole kill feed's blue and Turkey will not be able to hold. Two minutes and 19 seconds in the time make of France. That's a big time in comparison to Turkey. It's going to boost them right up when it gives France a real big chance at taking this game. So, where do we go? Where so, do we go? Turkey, they're in so much trouble here. If France, or sorry, if Turkey can't defend the first point first for point, the time yep. left, it's over. Yep. And France will be the third team today to go through into BlizzCon. And bear in mind the they did it in, well, the first attack last time. It was a very yeah. bad defense from Turkey on the initial point. So... <sighs> Turkey switching things up though. Sai going over to Junkrat. So he alone should be able to lock off the hotel side. So instead of using a Reaper, you can use him. But Junkrat just gives you a lot more damage, I guess, at longer ranges, I mean, a lot more safer. Um, the problem is, is that crew, who's had no problem maintaining high energy, is going to have even more of an easy time. France didn't even use the up. hotel on their attack. They didn't even yep. bother because yep. they're, they're probably so used to teams blocking it off that way. It's going to be a tough old task. Uh, last time around, it was actually Siri was the pain because he was the tracer. He was the man that was flanking around. He was the one that kept pulling the attention. We'll see if it works out, of course, now with Deegan once again on the Hanzo. It works so well for them on the attack. I just don't know. I think Turkey have got a real tough ask here, but we've seen bigger feats come out from teams when they absolutely need it to hang on in this tournament. The qualifier for the World Cup Finals in BlizzCon. Keep in mind, we could still technically have a tie. We could. go on to Ilios. It's a big ask. Actually, no. No, no, even a draw here wouldn't be enough because Turkey would only win no, they one need point. To, they need to win the map, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so no, Turkey can't even win the map anymore. The, no. the minimum they can force is a draw. So if France win this, it's over. There's no chance. Even if they draw it, it's over. Yeah, so it's over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's what you're saying. It's already over. Zinger, well, he gets executed by Deegan. An arrow to the head there as he got sleep darted away. And that shield is not going to last long. You can see Turkey, they're falling down. Mikolo has gone down as well. It's such a long run. Deegan picks another one off. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. France have done it. They will go through to BlizzCon to face the rest of the world in the World Cup Finals. What a cracking match though between these two teams. Very evenly matched. While the score is actually three to zero for France, it did go the four maps and it was very, very close. Hollywood, think back to that, the defensive moment. I just want to see what the play of the game is actually. Uh, <laughs> my favorite, <laughs> the big belly yeah. from Mikkel out. Is this going to be the, yeah, it's going to be the whole hog into the Graviton Surge and the uh, dra Dragon Strike, isn't it? Yeah, it's the whole, that's Graviton overkill strike. if I've ever seen it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful to watch, a different view of it. But think back. Think back to Hollywood. You know, France, uh, when they went into the overtime, they had, what, uh, 1 minute 14 and 1 minute between the two to try and take the first point. Turkey was so close to doing it. And yep. then France came back with, I think, well, like 10 seconds left. They came back out the respawn and managed to clear yeah, the yeah. point. And then themselves on their attack, how close that was. That was just a couple of great plays overall. Deegan obviously landed the uh, mid-air uh, Hunger Games uh, arrow.
Onto who? Oh, yeah, Hollywood. Sorry. Oh, I was so lost there. On Hollywood, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Hollywood. I was so yes. lost there. I was like, what Landed are you talking about? Zinger and then came down and then Sirik, he caught yeah, Tracer yeah, yeah. in midair. So it was beautiful. beautiful yeah, it, was, stuff. it was beautiful. So, uh, solid games, ladies and gentlemen. If you've missed it, well, you can catch it all on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. The next time I'm pretty tired, Demon. I don't know if I want to do it tonight. I don't know where. We'll see. We'll where see. The They'll work be on YouTube. Is, honestly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, France now joins Finland, who got a 3-0 win over Benelux, yes. and joins Russia, who got a 3-0 win over Norway. Um, so now we have three of our six teams to represent Europe. We still technically have Germany versus Iceland. One of those two teams will represent it. Uh, Sweden versus Italy, and Spain versus CIS and Baltic Sea. The only problem is we don't actually know when those games are happening just yet still. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that since none of them have scheduled so far, none are happening tomorrow, which means the last games will be coming Friday. And we'll obviously be putting that up on Reddit as quick as we, we do know. You can also follow us on Twitter. We'll be tweeting about it whenever we do have a schedule. But we do have some other games tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. We would talk off-air about, the, off okay. air about that. We're but maybe we do. When, when, we when or where they're happening. Guys, be sure to follow the channel. Follow our Twitters. Uh, we'll be tweeting out if there's any games happening. Uh, there could be some going on tomorrow. We will maybe. find out. We're still trying to organize it with the teams as and when things will happen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It has been a great night of action. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. I'm sure there's going to be games. We're going to wait for the teams to organize exactly when they're going to be. We'll see you then.